Hey, Ross World, my money makes money today. It is January the 24th, 2018. And the stock market, or rather my portfolio, didn't do so good. I think I lost a whopping 20 bucks. <laughs> well, I didn't really lose any money because I didn't sell any stock. Okay, I bought some stock. So I didn't really lose any money. You know the rule. If you don't sell your stock, you don't lose money because eventually stocks go back up. Marry yourself to the stock market. And when I mean, this is not a marriage you can divorce. You probably say, yeah, back in 2008, 2009, 2010, during the recession, I got a divorce from the stock market. And let me tell you, you lost money. You lost money. Here it is, guys. You know it's coming. My famous story, Citigroup. I bought Citigroup at $4 a share during the recession. And my buddy told me, he said, hey, man, the government is not going to let the banks fail. And I was like, cool, cool, cool. So I bought about two, three hundred. Let's just say two fifty. I always say two or three hundred. That's like a lot of stocks. Let's say two fifty. I bought two hundred fifty stocks. And then I got worried when Citigroup dropped down to a dollar or, or, or less than two bucks. I was like, uh uh, let me get out of this. I was an emotional, okay? I was an emotional investor. And that's what happens in the marriage. You get emotional and you make rash decisions that cost you your marriage and all your emotions and a lot of your money, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It really does. So then if you look at Citigroup today, I forgot. I looked at it the other day just to torture myself. True story. I, I believe it was like 60, 70 bucks. Are we doing the math here? 60 to 70 bucks? Two to 300 stocks? We're talking about thousands of dollars, people. It doesn't matter if it's three, four thousand. Thousands of dollars, people. Thousands. So married to the stock market is a person you'll never or a thing or entity, okay, that you will never divorce. Even in the good times, everything is good. People love the good time. It's the puppy love stage. We just got married. Everything is going good. Two, three, four years. Five years hit. Right? Five year bump. Five year hump. Because people say, hey man, you get past five years, you can make it to 10 years. But five years, people get weary. It's routine. It's getting boring. It's kind of like up and down, up and down. Sound like the stock market, doesn't it? And then you like, boom, 2008, 2009 hit. That I'm getting a divorce. Uh-uh. You know what? You've taken all my money. You have made me an emotional wreck. You have abused me. You have manipulated me over the years. You have controlled me. Because I have been doing everything according to who? You stock market. You. And you blame the stock market. You blame, I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they did that. Listen. Listen. Hold your peace. Hold your peace. See, the stock market is a marriage that you should never, ever get out. Some people that I know, they're weary to invest. Oh, if I do this, do I have some sort of insurance? You can hedge your stocks. That'll give you that much insurance. You can do index funds. It gives you about a little more insurance. But at the end of the day, no one can assure you or insure you that you won't lose everything. But here's the thing. Savings. Savings. Okay. And I've told you different entities. You got Dollar Savings Direct. They, right now, did they go up? I know it's 1.60. I don't know if it went up to 1.65. And then you also have Bean. Now, I have a link in the description for Bean. Bean is going to start off your bank account from 2% to 4%. Now, they're kind of taking their time. They're trying to get a lot of uh, um, clients and things to build up their databases and whatever they're doing. But hopefully, Bean becomes a real thing. And like I said, they are backed by the FDIC, et cetera, et cetera. So look in the link below and sign up for Bean. You just put in your email. They send you a little thing. They tell you where you are on their waiting list. But hey, just an email. There's no bank account information just yet. Look in the description. Married to the stock market. Don't you get a damn divorce? Don't you get a divorce? I looked at my portfolio today. Okay. And some of you like to know my portfolio. So here it is. And this is not giving you stock advice. Okay. This is not giving you stock advice. 
Sorry that the light is down on me, guys. But I'm going to go through my stocks real quick. Activision, ATVI, Siri, S-I-R-I, -I. Um, AMD, AMD. <laughs> okay, Vanguard stock. I got VWO, VEU, and VNQ. Glasgow Gold Clines, GSK, AT&T, T, Las Vegas Sands, LVS. These are the tickers, these three letters I'm giving you, or one letter or four letters, whatever. Ford, F. Vanguard, V-E-A, these are different Vanguard stocks, and I talk about the V's. Um, Intel, I-N-T-C. Um, I've got the name of this. This was Apollo, A-P-O, Biosun, B-Z-U-N, Yen, Y-I-Y-I, Y-I-N-N, Tesla, T-S-L-A, Berkshire, B-Stock, <laughs> B-R-K-B, um, Vanguard, V-G-K, Alibaba, B A B A, Google, the G O O G L stock, not the G O O G. Forgot this one, but it's A Y R. Zynga, Z N G A. Um, forgot the name of this one too. S T M. Uh, what is this one? I want to actually tell you this one. Uh, Fighters Investment. That's F D U S. I have another one. P N N T. And here are the blockchains. ETFs, one is BLCN, and here's another blockchain, BLOK, and then my inf infamous ABBV, okay? ABBV, and that's the AppVi stock that gives you good dividends. But anyway, married to the stock market, don't you get a damn divorce. Thumbs up, thumbs, no, no thumbs down. This is Raw Swirl, I'm out.